Today, I'm gonna share my experience flying in Cathay Pacific's business class. When soaring with Cathay Pacific, indulge in more than just the delectable onboard cuisine. When bidding farewell to Hong Kong, the epitome of culinary excellence, make a mandatory pit stop at Noodle Bar in the Cathay Pacific Lounge. Believe it or not, it was my second rendezvous with this flight on the very day. I bid adieu to Bangkok in the early hours, only to land gracefully in the heart of Hong Kong. Today's fabulous journey commences at none other than the Wing Business Class Lounge. Let's go! Our grand entrance into Hong Kong led us straight to the Wing Business Class Lounge, the epitome of sophistication. As a non-drinker, my soul craves the comforting embrace of coffee for a well-deserved respite. And let's not forget the tantalizing tantamy available at the noodle bar. This airport boasts several cafe lounges, each with its own unique charm. We've demonstrated in previous videos that the taste of tantamen differ from lounge to lounge. <laughs> However, at the wing, the tantamen carries a pleasantly average flavor that is likely to satisfy the taste buds of nearly every discerning traveler. Darlings, it has been an eternity since my last visit to the wing, but a memory resurfaces. Brace yourselves, for the scorching heat of the sun casts its fiery embrace upon this haven. Since the wing is hot, we decide to relocate to a cooler lounge near the boarding gate. Here they have the wing, and there they have the pier. Don't be fooled by the map. A dissection is further than it appears. Let's hop on the train for a swift journey to our destination. Regrettably, the first class lounge at the pier was closed during this period, most likely due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. I ordered the refreshing ginger forest because I was feeling overheated and needed to cool off. Whether you are in Hong Kong, Taiwan, Bangkok, Tokyo, or any other cafe lounge, you will never get bored. No one can compare to Qatar Airways Alusaf first lounge in terms of luxury. However, the biggest advantage of the cafe lounge is that it is available to one world status holders. As the moment to board arrived, my expectations held true. The once lively boarding gate now lacked its former vibrancy. Cathay Pacific's business class seats had essentially the same shape. Basically, you can store luggage under your seat, so you need to take out only what you need and put it in the overhead compartment. This time, I was asked for a welcome drink, so I ordered Cathay Pacific signature drink, Cathay Delight. I love it. Much to my dismay, the ottoman proved too petite to accommodate my oversized bag. However, a chic little purse will surely find its perfect abode with him. As you can see, the seat is designed to be very easy to use. It has small accessory compartment and mirror. It is great design for women.
Hong Kong International Airport is an enchanting hub where the world's planes converge. Even before your journey takes flight, we will in the thrill of watching planes from far and wide, delighting in the joy that awaits you. Given the bravery of the flight, libations were promptly served moments after we soared into the sky. As we took flight, my sparkling water became my steadfast companion, my go-to beverage of choice. Meanwhile, a delightful warm bowl of nuts glazed my taste buds, tantalizing them with their comforting allure. In the realm of 4-hour flights, where lunchtime beckoned, the meal service unfolded with a touch more haste than its counterparts on flights from Bangkok to Hong Kong. On this extravagant culinary journey, the appetizer arrived in the form of a delectable scallop salad. Each tantalizing bite, occasionally touched by the tangy essence of pomegranate, burst with delightful flavor. I chose Chinese for my main course. After all, Cathay is a Chinese airline. I found a pouch of chili sauce. I wondered if the spicier the better, but decided it was worth a try as long as it was offered. I usually only watch maps on IFE, but this time I watched Gossip Girl. In the meantime, we had already arrived over Korea. Look, this is a page to write feedback to the cabin crew. I didn't write anything because I am satisfied if they fulfill their role normally. Now let's talk about costs. I booked a flight from Bangkok to Seoul via Hong Kong. So the costs I am showing you today are not exact. I will simply calculate and tell you. Roughly it cost me 15,000 American Airlines miles plus $45. If you're living East Asia, American Airlines miles can come in very handy.